Azrael, the angel of death and the divine cycle of life. In the vast tapestry of the Abrahamic religions, angels hold pivotal roles, guiding, protecting, and executing divine commands. Among these celestial beings, one stands out with a particularly daunting responsibility, Azrael, the angel of death. Known as Israel in Islamic tradition, his very presence evokes a profound sense of awe and fear, reminding believers of the inescapable fate that awaits every living being. May I request you not to forget to subscribe the channel after watching the video Azrael's depiction transcends mere human comprehension. Envision a figure cloaked in shadows, his eyes reflecting the weight of countless souls he has ferried across the threshold of life and death. His wings, vast and dark, stretch across the heavens, embodying the solemnity of his duty. In his hands, he holds a luminous scroll inscribed with the names of all who live and breathe, each name meticulously recorded, each life bound by the threads of destiny. In Islamic, Christian, and Jewish traditions, angels are revered and feared, beings of pure light or fire created by God to perform specific tasks. Among these divine tasks, Azrael's role is one of the most solemn and significant. While many angels serve as messengers, warriors, or protectors, Azrael's duty is to oversee the passage from life to death a role that places him in constant contact with the ultimate mystery of human existence. Azrael's presence is both awe-inspiring and terrifying. His appearance, as described in various religious texts and traditions, is one of grandeur and solemnity. Imagine a being of immense size, his wings spanning the sky, casting a shadow over the earth. His face is neither kind nor cruel, but reflects the inevitability of his mission. His eyes are deep and knowing, holding the secrets of countless lives and deaths. His garments, flowing and dark, are adorned with the symbols of life and death, and in his hands he carries a scroll that glows with an ethereal light. This scroll is no ordinary record. It is said to contain the names of every soul in existence, each name inscribed with a precision that only a divine being could achieve. According to Islamic tradition, a tree in heaven holds leaves inscribed with the names of every person. When a person's time to die approaches, a leaf falls from this tree, and Azrael receives a divine message indicating that it is time to take that soul. This process is a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness of all life and the divine orchestration of the universe. Azrael's primary duty is to separate the soul from the body at the time of death. This act is carried out with precision and care, reflecting the will of God. Unlike the common portrayal of death as a grim reaper, Azrael's role is not to bring fear, but to facilitate the transition from one state of existence to another. He is a guide a conductor on the final journey of the soul. His touch is gentle yet firm, his presence comforting yet solemn. The moment of death is a profound and sacred event. As Azrael approaches, the dying person may experience a range of emotions, from fear and anxiety to peace and acceptance. For the believer, the sight of Azrael can be a moment of clarity, a final understanding of their place in the divine plan. Azrael's appearance is a reminder that death is not an end, but a transformation, a return to the source of all life. Once the soul is separated, it enters an intermediate state known as Barzakh in Islamic eschatology. Barzakh is a realm that exists between the physical world and the day of resurrection. It is a place of waiting, where souls remain until the final judgment. In Barzakh, the soul experiences either peace or torment, depending on its earthly deeds. This intermediate state underscores the transient nature of life and the certainty of accountability. In Christian and Jewish traditions, similar concepts exist. In Christianity, the soul often awaits resurrection in a temporary state of either bliss or suffering, sometimes referred to as the intermediate state or Hades. In Judaism, the concept of Sheol is similar, where souls await final judgment. 
Despite the differences in terminology and specific beliefs, the core idea remains the same. Death is a passage, not an end. The concept of an intermediate state serves as a powerful reminder of the moral and ethical responsibilities of life. It reinforces the belief that actions have consequences and that the soul's journey does not end with death. The experiences in Barzak or Sheol are a reflection of the life lived, a period of reflection and anticipation for the final judgment. The thought of Azrael's approach is enough to instill a profound sense of fear. His solemn duty is a stark reminder that death is an inescapable reality lurking in the shadows, ever-present and patient. Each fallen leaf, each name called, propels us closer to the moment we must confront our own mortality. As Azrael performs his eternal task, he embodies the ultimate truth. No one can escape the grasp of death, and all must stand before the divine judgment when the final trumpet sounds. Azrael's presence is a constant in the background of our lives, a reminder of the fleeting nature of existence. He is not a figure of terror, but of inevitability. His role is to ensure that the divine plan is fulfilled, that each soul is guided to its rightful place in the afterlife. His task is a reminder of the delicate balance between life and death, and the profound mysteries that lie beyond the veil. For the believer, the knowledge of Azrael's existence is a call to live a righteous and meaningful life. It is a reminder that every action, every decision, has a consequence, and that the soul's journey is shaped by the choices made in life. Azrael's role is not to punish, but to guide, to ensure that each soul reaches its ultimate destination. As we go about our daily lives, it is easy to forget the presence of Azrael, the inevitability of death. We become absorbed in the mundane, the trivial, forgetting that each moment is precious, each breath a gift. Azrael's shadow looms over us, a silent reminder of the end that awaits us all. His presence is a call to awaken, to live fully and meaningfully, to prepare for the final journey. In the end, Azrael stands as a testament to the divine order of the universe. His role is a crucial part of the cycle of life and death, a reminder that we are all part of a greater plan. His presence evokes both fear and reverence, a profound understanding of the mysteries of existence. As we contemplate his role, we are reminded of the fragile nature of life, the certainty of death, and the ultimate destiny that awaits us all. At this stage, I will request you to kindly like, share, and comment on the video, and also subscribe the channel. Azrael, the angel of death, is more than a figure of fear. He is a guide, a guardian, a reminder of the divine order of the universe. His duty is to ensure that each soul reaches its rightful place, that the cycle of life and death continues as ordained by the divine. In understanding his role, we gain a deeper appreciation of the mysteries of life, the certainty of death, and the ultimate destiny that awaits us all. Azrael's presence is a call to live fully, to prepare for the final journey, and to embrace the profound mysteries of existence. Thank you for watching.